Pull the lever, Gronk. Wrong lever! Huh? Why do we even have that lever? Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Age of the Ring cast. We've had a lot of good uh, replays sent recently. So by a law of averages, we're owed a bad replay, which brings us to Tarnost. So here we go. Tarnost 2v2. Trouble in little Tarnost town. And we are spectating Wombat Warfare. Ripping the turquoise Lorien. Actually looks really good on Lorien. His teammate is Conquistador. Again. Fresh from his uh, super comeback versus violence. Uh, not sure how he pulled that one out, but that was awesome to see. And opposite is a Doggledore. It is Rob, who's taken a break from uh, World of Tanks to uh, return to us in Age of the Ring. And his teammate is a Dranza, a Dranzusi, playing as Rivendell. So an old Polish affair. One is named after a marsupial in Australia. The other is named after a Spanish dude that wiped out the Aztecs. So, I mean, yeah, the... Uh... Wait, are Wombats marsupials? They're just mammals, right? If there's an Australian, let me know. Let me know. I said that and it didn't sound right, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, spider start for Rob. We've seen him do this before. At least I remember him doing that before to great effect. And score one to Rob. Eat shit, Conquistador. No, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Okay, Lin here or here. They're backing up their teammates, but they're, 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 they're already dead. There is no genie moment here. You cannot bring the living back. All right, there's uh, Captain's Haunt. He's actually prioritizing the barracks, which is the better call. Because I think he can actually get it here. And, uh, if you demolish buildings mid-build, you actually lose the builder. Man, it's such an odd mechanic, but, uh, it's one that makes Doggledore, um, both very fun and also very scary to play. Now, he- I- I- the barracks is definitely gonna go down before these broken rabble come out. Unless, uh, oh no, Lord, uh, Rivendell doesn't get rebuilt, at least straight away. Well, rip a Rooney, Batman. There goes your jail. Nice. Even that up. Um, some bounders went in. Fell to Lin here. I think something else was to come in there because Bounders should beat Lin here. And I think they were trying to double team uh, Conky there. No, no, master. I am no one. And uh, Mill goes down. Now, assuming the Lin here don't focus Thrain, Thrain should be able to get a few kills. However, if they do focus Thrain, then he's going to die. Actually, you know what? He's. You know what? He actually got, I thought he'd actually die instantly. I'll be honest. I thought he'd actually die instantly. But no, he got away. Don't go in. Don't go in. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, I don't get it sometimes. I really just don't. Okay, there we go. That that makes sense. Alright, now I know where we are. So, Thrain is dead. I mean, he had to interject with something. There is Broken Rabble now, but they're running the wrong way. Oh no, there's Lin here there. God damn. If you got the early barracks, yeah, just spam Lin here. <laughs> Those would only ever work if you got the early barracks. Anyway, let's check the rest of the map here. Uh, there are some Lauren Spears about to ruin these spiders' day. No, Rob is micro them very well. And more clansmen out in the open. And Thran would be very proud of Dronza because he's repping the uh, Hobbit start. With all these trees, you're basically ca chasing shadows here because uh, obviously Hobbits stealth in trees for some reason. I guess because they're so tiny, they can uh, get away with that. And Riders of the Knife start for Wombat. Is that a mistake? <laughs> I mean... They are cavalry that exist. And you can pay to give them some cool Run, bows. But beyond that... I... Sorry, I just got alt tabbed by my fucking browser. Excuse the fuck out of me! My whole uh, internet actually just turned off. All the, all, the, all the lights on my router are just turned off. Well, okay then. Well, fuck me, I guess. Anyway, we're back. Um, But a lot of harassing going on here. Let's actually have a look in Dranza's base. How's it going? I'm guessing there was an orchard there. So he's uh, down one there. And again, it's it's these it's these Lin here, level four now. Almonds of the White Titty. Okay, they're gonna be taking damage from the fort. But they are on the they're on the the world tour at the moment. And they are finally going to fall, I'm pretty sure. Um but yeah, they have been everywhere. Anyway, we've got four broken rabble. Surely Pinneth Gellin are gonna have to come out. Um Surely Pinneth Gellin are going to have to come out here. Anyway, Veterans of Eskilith with Captain's Horn. If they if they lose a single unit, then I'll be surprised. Because uh, these guys are pretty strong even without the buff. And yeah, thanks for the power points. Don't send me a postcard, I already got it. And really, Shriek? Rob, you try hard. You actually micro Shriek? Which 
reduces the speed as well on the cav? Oh, it's passively. Okay. God damn! I am Halberdat, captain of the Dunatak. Given how, like, timid horses are, how easily they're spooked, it would be- Imagine if that was an actual mechanic in this game. Your cavalry just gets spooked and you can't control them. God, that would fucking suck. Anyway, I can't keep track of this. You got harassment going on all over the place? It's like, producers in Hollywood? Anyway, um... But yeah, there's just farms dropping left and right, cavalry running our, all, all over the place. And, uh... I think Drons has got Halberd out now. Let's have a look at Lorien. There's Rumil, scouted by Dronza. He can see the Rumil. And... I'm not sure... If he's going to be scared of anything else other than that Rumil. But Rumil's pretty scary. Okay, arrow volley for Lorien. It's off cooldown. Bruh. <laughs> I say it and it happens. I am a god, apparently. Anyway, Rob firmly on the defensive, but he still has these two jails up. And he does get the mill. And he does use Sally Forth for a, a little last effort. But they are going to fall to these jailers. And I feel like Rob is saving up for something big because there's no Crimple out yet. Maybe he's going to get Kamul or maybe he's just going to go straight for Necromancer. We will see. Penneth Gallant are out along with Baragon, surprising absolutely no one. Okay, let's see. Dunodyne, emerging from the shadows. Rumel is there to pick off a few. <gasps> Ooh, beautiful tier two, nice! And you see how much damage they do to heroes. The... There's Chill from the grave, dude. Rob is dropping everything to make sure he gets Rumel. And the Outriders were there as well, dude. All the cavalry on the map just descended on that poor guy. Listen, I know I hate Archer Heroes, but that, that was uncalled for. But yeah, perfectly timed tier 2 from Rob. And that's the sort of swing that can, um... I mean, that's the sort of kill that can actually change games. Like, like... They, they can double up on Conquistador here, or they can just push and try and destroy some of these Malon trees. But they gotta, they gotta make a count. <gasps> Wait, where is Baragon? Why is he in no map? Okay, Baragon's dead. Yeah, the Matriarch is not gonna... The fact that he's actually not dead now is nothing short of... Crazy, but there it is. And I was right about Rob rushing for Necromancer. Man, Rob has not put a foot wrong at the moment. Given how much um, pressure he was on from Conquistador at the start, yeah. Came back really well. I mean, it's always hard to pressure Dogledor, but I mean, he was still under a bit of pressure. And um, yeah, sniping Rumil across the map, killing Baragond as well. I I'm guessing that was a misclick or something, or he... He told him to attack a spider, and the spider ran into the base, and he just chased after them, and he, he wasn't paying attention. But yeah, that's a huge... Oh man, that's a huge downturn in uh, fortune for the top team. It's not over yet, although Necromancer is actually a big... A, a big... Uh, it, it's, it's just like walking danger right there. Literally walking danger. He does have tier 2, but I mean, he's not going to really get anything that's going to help him here. Um... Like, it's gonna be trebuchet, which, okay, uh, okay. but goddamn. Okay, here we go. Lanterns on the Malon tree to stun him, to stun this whole army, that would be great. I don't think so. Okay. Faramir dying under the fortress for the second video running, maybe? Oh man, so close. Yeah, don't underestimate the damage that cavalry can do to heroes. Freaking hell. Archers are still hitting. There's the heal there. And um, that's actually a good choice because obviously it saves his hero, but he gets a better tier twos now. Um, although Athelian Wood is only going to be good if he actually combos it with uh, an army. Necromancer does fall. There's the feed. The arrow tower on the fortress might have actually got the final hit. Now he needs to make sure Faramir doesn't die. Dude, Conquistador, why? You finally killed the faction hero, dude. That was what you needed. Oh shit. Okay, Dranza might get wiped here. I know there's a lot of spears there, but he's in armor mode. He's in wicked slumber armor mode. No. Oh no. The feed is real, Helder and his brother are back. 
Oh, it's been a while since we've seen the Huon. Yes, baby Huon. Yes. Oh, imagine if he didn't lose the Faramir, though. He would have had faction, faction leader kill under his belt. There's obviously Rob is going to rush back to get him. But now all the money that you probably forced Rob to spend now, you're having to spend on Faramir. Oh, dude, that sucks. Anyway, he's still under loads of pressure. Again, Captain of Athelion. Oh, actually, it, it's Faramir's legacy is there, so... Still getting some value beyond the grave. He did buy rebuild, but not to save the farm. Maybe to save this one, because it's level 3. That seems like a good bet. But yeah, good recovery by Wombat. Pathstalkers? Um, I mean... I mean, why did he go with Path Stalkers? Because the cavalry... The cavalry from uh, Dranzo would be able to counter that. But I guess to kill everything else would be good. I don't know. I find Path Stalkers tricky, so who the hell knows. Anyway, Great Company are out for uh, Dranzo. Tier 2 is almost back for Rob. He's got Tier 3 soon. And he did drop many meetings as well, so... I, I didn't see where that dropped. I'm missing a lot. This has been a frantic By game. The grace of the Valor, I have returned. Yeah, we know Gildor died because I, I heard him die as the as the Huon was summoned. I don't know if the Huon got the final kill. I imagine it was actually Haldir that probably did that. Anyway, easy eggs D. Great company, one volley. There it is. Thank you very much. I don't know why he thought he was going to escape right, the great company. He might as well have just tried to build something there. We will the and yeah, tried and true... He didn't stick with the Hobbits for long. Thran would still be rocking Hobbits. But yeah, it's full on Dunedain and Brelanders. Who on is a permanent unit, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, he can die quickly to Spears, as I said. But in that wicked slumber, he gets so much armor. It, it doesn't really make... It, I mean, it, he can just tank through the best Spears with that. Alright, Caliborn is on the field. Are the Archer Heroes going to snipe him? No, he's playing very defensive with Caliborn. He's afraid of something. Maybe he's afraid of the uh, Doggledore Wargs. Oh, he sees the spiders as well. That might have been a... And there he is. Necro's back. And no Faramir, but Baragond and Forlong are there. There needs to be some sort of double up. Oh, there's Crimple. He's not going to die for a while. There's the wolves. There's Joff in the grave. Necromancer is doing a horror dread. And that's basically all of Gondor done. God, with Necromancer's leadership, Doggledore is just such a menace. Like, Faramir wounding arrow or any sort of like ranged pressure on Necromancer, and he can struggle. But if you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe melee against Necromancer and, and a bunch of orcs, you're yeah, you're, you're super fucked. Anyway, there's Wither, that's tier 3. And will any help come from Lorien this day? I don't think so. And this has basically been the Rob show. This has basically been the Rob show. On a small map like Tarnos, once Doggledore get a foothold... Oh man, I mean he made it look much easier than it actually is. It's not like four gone. But yeah, it's it's still Oh man, it's it's still so tough to face DG. Anyway, Necromancer is being focused by the tower and the fortress. Rebuild is there. He might actually save it. He does have shapeless malice and he's not gonna take the chance. There it is. All the archer heroes have come in now. Galadriel's there as well. And Drons is moving on his base, but I want to see the fate of Conquistador's Fortress here. Let's have a look, let's have a look. No, it lives again. And Waters of the Nimrodel is kind of what you need here, because we need a second rebuild. You need to get a second rebuild. You need it very soon. Okay, let's see. Let's see if Dronza can play while the Wombat is away. The Handmaidens, maybe one is going to make it out before this base goes down. And they were summoned, so the, the... What the fuck was this called again? The, uh, Sanctum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I was gonna call it the Assembly. Like, that's not it. That's an arable building. <laughs> but yeah, it survives. And Drones are playing very cautiously. He sort of played this way in the tournament. Oh, there's Haldir to Teleport! <laughs> that, be, that might be why my brother in Christ was playing cautiously. <laughs> Never mind, though, who has found him? Go on, Elrond. Herald of Gilgalad, you can take this, you can take this. Who cares if Caliborn's there? 
He's not hotter than you. Oh, Galadriel's there. She's hotter than you. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Handmaidens in their Darth Maul mode. Great company standing their ground. They should probably swap the spears. Double Huon getting sandwiched. Oh, man. Dranza is firmly in a Huon sandwich. Oh, God. Okay, well, Dranza just got wiped, and... Yeah, that's that's not what you want. Ring of Adamant, dude, no, I think you need to get rebuild. I don't think Ring of Adamant is what you need here. Oh, wait. Dude, how did you not go rebuild there? Oh, Wamba, you might have just fucked it. Numenorian Stonework is there. Dude, how do you not go rebuild? Waters of Nimrodel, Wamba, you little bastard, you let your teammate fall. Okay, you can justify it if you take out the enemy base with this. Before the fortress falls, Conquistador uses the trebuchet. Halbrad does fall, that's what that sound was. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe Dranza loses his base here. But still, Ring of Adamant, does that buff heroes? All allied units. Does that mean heroes, or does units just mean non-heroes? I still don't know. But yeah, last roll of the dice. Trebuchet, I love that. Like Conquistador's dying breath. Spawns a trebuchet. Okay, here we go. Elrond defending the fort. Okay, come on. You have to hit the fort, dude. Forget the Elrond. Oh, but the LTG's here. Galadriel. Light of Valinor's gonna do- <gasps> Dude, the fact that Carly has to do that is so fucking stupid. Yeah, Light of Valinor's gonna do sweet dick. Why are who on board hitting the fortress for fuck's sake? There are past stalkers on it, I guess. And Galadriel is running for her fucking life. She's she's pulling an R. Kelly right now. And in aggressive mode for the extra. <gasps> Dude, Cargas this fast. Who cares about the fort? Ooh, did you see that hit? Bruh. <laughs> the fort just does go down and Galadriel does get out of dodge. Fireman mounting up. Always a risk for that delay. No, the oh, I thought he was going to do it. Wait, did Galadriel fall? Did Galadriel die to Kamul? Oh, I think he- I think she did. No, I was looking at Faramir, we missed it. Oh, but yeah, she's- she's gone. Ah, oh, she's totally done so. Oh, Kamul. Fucking hell, that's so unlucky. Dude, fucking Kamul. They would have gotten away otherwise. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. You're behind, it's allowed. Oh, no. It is the Rob show. It's totally the rub show. Wait, hold up. <gasps> no, Drons is out! Oh shit! Oh no! And it's a whole just casually dunking on his base. Conquistador lives and he has a builder! No! The last builder out of Egypt, he got out. No fucking way. Okay, surely tier 4 from... Actually, no, what the fuck? What have you... How? Alright, well that's weird. Okay, let's see. There's the walls. Celeborn and Gladiol are not home. They're AFK. Sanctum is gonna fall. <laughs> okay, Farmer, you tried. You, you, you were, you were present. No one can say you were not present. But yeah. So that's a lot of towers. We've seen a Gondor fortress survive Rob's assault with less towers. This is a Lorien base with about six towers. Actually, maybe like five towers. Really... <laughs> um, so it's not over yet. He might actually be forced into making Entwives. Who the hell knows? But just just to just to rem remind you all, it is currently a two v one. It is Rob versus Wombat and Conky now. He's gonna try and take Conquistador out of the equation, but that's not his last building. He's got way more. Galadriel is back. Removes leadership from Doggledor. That's big. And that's uh, Bearer of Nenya. Don't you just love to actually see it get used properly? Passive 50% armor, but immune to damage. Let's go. She, Wombat literally made his fortress invincible. That's so fucking cool, dude. Oh man, they're gonna make him sweat. They're gonna make him really. Do they can get a third who won if they wanted? Yeah, destroy one who won and see what happens. 
And Galadriel's actually going to fall here. There's no way to let her go now. When she's on red health, there's no way. That was a feed. Cargas ain't going to die soon. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. There was no need for that. There was literally no need for that. Her passive buff... Her passive armor buff made it... Made, made it so that he would... I mean, I just make it end wives, I guess. But still, there was no need for her to commit there. The fortress was fine. Bruh. Damn, losing that Galadriel a second time. I wish I faced people who lost Galadriel like that. Jesus. No, he's finally checked up into Ravages. But they actually lost the battle. Surprising. I know, Cargus makes it home because of course he does, and so does Necromancer. One level away from his final move. And Wither plus tier 4 equals, um, equals GG. Does, does Wither go into Bane of the Greenwood? Or is it Gift? I feel like Bane of the Greenwood would be much better. Because there's not much of an army for a Necromancer to destroy. It is Bane of the Greenwood. Oh, everything going Rob's way. Let's just enjoy it, shall we? They're gonna... I mean, they're trying to just... Bankrupt Rob here. And then maybe mount some sort of counterattack. That's why they're still in this game. That's why they think they can win. Um, but yeah. Spain of the Greenwood is just gonna... Ignore all that. There's been a lot of wasteful hero kills. Or hero deaths. Like the Baragon down here. Rumor wasn't really wasteful, he just got fucking owned. Oh, there's Wither! <laughs> oh shit! Bruh. And he could just use his other ability to insta kill the uh, barracks as well. Dude, look at that. His attack speed is insane. Faster than the Balrog, and he does more damage to buildings than the Balrog. But is he bigger than a Huon? It doesn't look like it. Huon is still the greatest. And that's going to be GG well played. Rob carrying it for the bottom, it has to be said. Oh no, Waters of the Nimrodel show up. Bruh. There it is. There it is, GG well played. And did Conky somehow... <laughs> he actually somehow outlasted his, uh, his teammate, if, he, if only by like a second. Anyway, that was a pretty funny game. I hope you guys all enjoyed all the, uh, all the combos. You can see just how well Rob dropped, uh, comboed there. With, um, like, dropping the walls and, and everything. That was, that was really cool. And then Wombat goes and does it with the Huons. That was, uh, that was, like, that's, like, peak 2v2. That's, like, what you want to see. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and subscribe. See you next time. <gasps> Goodbye.